it's Michael from Culture Talk and Tours, and I'm here today at the Mexican Trade and Culture Office in Taipei City, Taiwan, for an art exhibition by a Taiwanese artist. Her name is Sophia Ling Hong She, and I don't know much about the show. It seems to be graphic design posters or something. It's about to start, and the guests are just arriving. And let's go have a look. Antes que nada, muy bienvenidos. Estamos eh, de plácemes que nos acompañan. Thank you very much for for being here um, tonight, almost. Um, Feliz Día del Padre. Happy Father's Day to all of you. Thank you for deciding to spend at least part of your Father's Day with us uh, today. That's very meaningful for us. As you know, we had planned um, for this opening to take place on Thursday, July 25th. 27th, was it? But 25th, right? But uh, as you remember very well, uh, the typhoon uh, had another opinion. <laughs> so, so we had to postpone it. And um, it is today that we are formally opening this very, very important exhibition by Sophia Chu. Um, it's uh, for us a very important occasion and a very meaningful occasion. Uh, you will hear from her, you will hear in a second from one of her students. Um, you can uh, learn more about her uh, work and, and her artistic life uh, by reading her profile back there. But uh, besides all of that, and besides of how easily it is to recognize the work of a great artist by the uh, posters exhibited here in, in our um, home, in the Mexico home, um, I want to pinpoint also that there is a very strong linkage uh, between Sophia and I. And I just saw also our brother, he was here. Um, you, many of you know or are familiar with, um, with our story or my story with Lian Danfong. Um, and Lian Danfong is, is uh, someone that uh, took a very special place in my heart. And the reason I met Sophia is because she is also very close, much closer than me, uh, to Lena. Um, actually, when I met her, it was her home. Oh, there's my brother. That's, that's the son of Lena Fong, so we're over there. Um, and uh, that's, that's how we first met. And uh, Lena Fong was like, uh, like a mother to, uh, to Sophia. And so, so ever since we met, and that was uh, actually in, at her home uh, on a Chinese New Year, um, she kind of gave us a message that Sophia and I were like uh, sister and brother. So this is something even deeper. But I, I will just uh, mention that uh, Sophia is also very close to Mexico. She. Um, she has been invited for the last 10 years. There's a very famous biennial of the poster in Mexico. Uh, it's an international biennial. It's a very highly recognized biennial. And she has been invited every time, every occasion that we have, you know, hold it there as an exhibitor, as a uh, judge, and um, also some other times as a palace. This time, we're having this biennial in the city of Querétaro, in central Mexico, and also Mexico City. And she is going to be there again. And not only is she is going to be there, but she's taking several of her students along with her. And um, so the students will exhibit there as well, and they will exhibit works that have been inspired by the relationship and the friendship areas between Mexico and Taiwan. So she will be able to tell you more about it, but I just want you to know that uh, we're very proud to have her here, to have 
these samples of her work that she'll tell you about. And, um, and that uh, we also looking forward to the visit of uh, hers and, and her students to Mexico. And we will mention something later on if you are able to support that initiative, that would also be something highly appreciated. So I'll sum of that, and I'll ask uh, Sophia to please uh, tell us whatever she needs to tell us about this work and all the plans that she has in the store. Thank you very much. Thank you, Robin. Uh, first of, of all, I would like to uh, thank all the distinguished guests and seasoned professionals uh, for coming to my solo exhibition. And this exhibition comes as the result of uh, many years I'm engaged with design activity and also participate a lot of um, venue uh, with around the world. And first, uh, for the term of uh, professional relationship, like uh, directors say, uh, I was uh, very lucky uh, through uh, Professor Liang Dan Fong, who was my uh, mental colleagues and good friends. And uh, through her, I would be able to know uh, Director Martin Torres. And we share a lot of uh, common uh, on design and interest, and is indeed close uh, colleagues and friends. And uh, this exhibition, uh, having uh, planning in almost two years, I'm so happy tonight with all the help uh, and all sites will come true. And uh, second, uh, as a term of education, I would like to uh, uh, know that uh, international perspective for uh, design department is very important goal in my university, NTNU. Uh, I have served as international juror uh, with Benali. Uh, Benali uh, was uh, one of, uh, Mexico Benali was one of the top five uh, poster competition around the world. So since 2014, I was participate that. And after that, I also participate in uh, many design activity with Mexico. So I'm being very lucky you know, to know the deeps and the culture of Mexican culture. So tonight, I also look at this as a very unique uh, opportunity because uh, this year, Benali will be 35 anniversary, so I'm going to take uh, nine of my students. Can, can my student raise your hand up? Yeah, they are all here. Yeah. I will bring them to participate in very uh, meaningful and important events. And I emphasize in, uh, between uh, Mexico, City, uh, Mexico and Taiwan because uh, I think for this kind of relationship, we can uh, extend it uh, more cooperation in the near future. And I also think uh, all the participants will uh, increase uh, students' knowledge and experience in different way. So uh, for education, I would like to uh, bring them to there. But this time, uh, I emphasize the relationship between both because uh, I look at uh, this exhibition uh, as an uh, important promotion and powerful uh, on itself. Every time when I put my work on display, I always feel like, uh, which is encourage uh, my creativity and also uh, improve my design philosophy. So uh, at this time, uh, I'm express myself by using the representative color of Mexico, red, green, uh, white, as, as well as yellow. Perhaps it flat the, the sun, uh, which the part of uh, a uh, key point of uh, Mexican landscape, yeah? And uh, as a designer, I would like to say uh, tonight is a very special opportunity for me to have an exhibition in here. 
I want to make clear then that uh, for myself, I'm an international designer and also uh, have a reputation with uh, teaching and creating uh, across the border. So uh, I think uh, later I will be able to show some of my work explained it and my student also will explain it. Uh, for for the content, uh, which uh, hope you can enjoy it for tonight, and uh, later, uh, should I uh, ask the student to say first? I'm going to let my student talk about this exhibition, uh, why they will be here, and why we're going to uh, inference uh, about their future. So I will let her talk about a little bit, and then come back to me. Yes, hello, I'm one of the students participating in Mexico Exchange program, and so I represent for all the student members. So first of all, I would like to say, to be honest, there are lots of international activity in our department, but it's really the first time we are going to a country outside of Asia. So I deeply believe that we can absorb a totally different culture in Mexico and also participate in international poster biennial in Mexico. It's on top of that we can broaden our horizons. So to prepare for this program, our professor really spent lots of effort on negotiation with Mexico office and some university in Mexico. So this international activity really is really valuable for us. Like we can learn something from designers around the world and also maybe we can enhance some academic progress in the future. And so I think this experience is just, is just can help us in the long journey in design. And just like um, nutrients supports our growth. And so, um, finally, and, and so finally, I would like to say um, Mexico is so far away from here, almost on the other side of the earth. So maybe there, there will be lots of not only um, high cost, but also unpredictable challenges. But we, however, we are still looking forward to it because it's really a vital opportunity to us. So uh, we will try our best to prepare it. And uh, finally, we are also looking forward for some support. And uh, we appreciate all the help from Mexico office and uh, our professor. Thank you. Uh, so my hope uh, to this exhibition is uh, to enrich the, this office already distinct uh, characters. And also, I would like to uh, show my concern about uh, the society and environment. And for this exhibition, uh, I also want to echo my love and care about this culture. Mm -hmm. And for uh, uh, strengthen the relationship uh, with Mexico and Taiwan too. So uh, finally, I would like to thank again all of you to come tonight and I hope we can earn your support uh, in a different way. And uh, thank you again, and hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. Um, like Sophia said, uh, this, this exhibition uh, now serves as a, a multi-purpose uh, exhibition because showcasing the friendship uh, of really inner soul friendship on the one hand, the relationship between Mexico and, and Taiwan, and the cultural dialogue between the two. Actually, I wanted to keep this. Um, you'll see it there. It's called Amigo, and it's yeah, right the there. It's one, one of the yeah. posters. Yeah. Um, and then, as, as uh, you know, Sophia and Sophia soon mentioned, um, we also want to take this opportunity to, to appeal forever, for whoever is uh, able to, to help out. Um, Sophia 
uh, would be able to reproduce and, uh, and uh, you know, print in a m much even higher quality than you see here to those that would be interested and willing to, by getting one of the works, uh, also at the same time supporting the initiative of, uh, of the students uh, of uh, professor, she is going to Mexico. There are on October, October, in October. But how how many students? There are eight of them. Nine. Nine of them. Yeah. So nine yeah. students traveling to Mexico is not a cheap endeavor. <laughs> um, and not only the travel, but also the stay, and and also the exhibiting. So uh, you know, we also appeal to your um, solidarity. And if you can help out, you'll see some of these uh, brochures over there too, in case that uh, you are able and willing to support and, and to get one of the art pieces that you see here, um, that you would be also promoting um, directly, not only indirectly, uh, this, this endeavor and, and, and the relationship, of, uh, cultural relationship between Mexico and Taiwan. And uh, having said that, uh, again, my appreciation, muchas, muchas gracias to all of you for being here on Father's Day and spending uh, this evening with us. Please uh, feel free to uh, help yourselves with some, uh, some finger food here. Uh, there's some uh, beverages and wine so we can toast and of course admire the exhibition. And like Sophia said, uh, she and her students will be around. So you, you, you know, you, if you want some explanation, or go deeper into that. She, I thought she was going to mention something, but uh, it is obvious that it has to do. Part of it has to do with uh, Aboriginal cultures. Part has. Part of it has to do with the uh, environment and ecology. Part of it has to do with human rights and women's rights. So it's a very rich sample of uh, some of her work. And uh, you know, I, I, I believe that you, you need to look at the details. Uh, you need, for example, to get closer to that cactus, cactus. there. I remember Mexico a lot, especially the northern part of Mexico with, where Selena, my, my wife, is from. She's back there. Uh, that's the type of cactus that you see in your uh, Yeah, that's the kind of cactus that you'll see in, in Sonora. So get closer. Get closer to it and look at the detail. And just like that, um, then uh, you can look at the rest of the details. So please, enjoy yourselves, have fun, and especially enjoy the exhibition. Yeah, I, I want to point out a little bit. Uh, on the right hand um, part, the two poster be collected by uh, Hamburg uh, Art and Craft Museum, which is the same place for Mucha's collection. And they collect my uh, women's rights pieces, uh, seven. So only have two here. And uh, the back side with the A, that one, is uh, called, uh, called Color of Asia, which is wing the finale of uh, Mexico. So I'm using A with uh, Asia, and I see, if you see through the color, of Asia people, you will see the Asia color. And the Aborigines uh, poster, I won the national uh, prizes in different places, uh, even including uh, Taiwan. And that one, I've been doing it uh, since um, 20 years ago, because we uh, officially announced uh, the tribe. So every time they have a new tribe, I will do one, and then you know again and again. So I think I spent like uh, almost 16 years to finish 16 tribes, you know. But I also want to show my students, you know, as a hobby or as your professional uh, designer, you want to concern about some of the topic, you have to really do it and deep it. So that's the one. And after that, I uh, also, uh, in my research of uh, visual semiotics, uh, culture, respect of our uh, design, and role of color, also showing on my poster. So, and uh, for example, those two are typography. And every time when I show uh, typography, I always wonder the Western people and the East people, one side of them they don't understand, so I decided to merge them together. So I do the love first, because I feel like love is very 
uh, reach but complicated. So if you get closer, you will see the scratch line, and then you know the love words engage with the Chinese characters' love, and to show the complicate. And then after a year, I decided to do the hate one because I feel without love, you won't have hate. So actually, sometimes you see the things in fragile in one part, but the the other parts even strengthen, you know, more. So those are two. And and I also did the Chinese painting. So the plum, and also there has another plum I did. And then uh, I will put um, my experience or my spiritual thinking together with my work. So I feel like I want to do something which can uh, touch my heart and I will be able to show the same part of the the meaning to the audience. And in the center of those three, I've been uh, working on a series of poster which has 26 uh, alphabet with the city around the world. So that one is uh, London. So the, the tower and the landmark just put together as an L. And the reverse side, because right now we have the Paris Olympic. So uh, Martin and I, we decided to put the Paris that one. But the Paris one, uh, I'm using the uh, visual semiotics to talk about you know, Paris, if you go to Paris, you will see the new and old engaged together. So I think Art Nouveau have a lot of crew you can see in uh, uh, Paris. So in the back side have some, another one is Frankfurt. So that's the city I feel. So I, I put my feeling into the city and using my semiotics uh, study and research to put the uh, icon or index or symbol on my poster. And this one for women rights and human rights, I'm using the shadow and then you know, also the front type together and become a uh, human and a woman together. Yeah. So if you interesting uh, anyone and my student, I think they can help to describe and then I can also uh, explain more. So uh, thank you for coming and enjoy the show. It's Michael and I'm here with the star of the show, the artist that we're all here to see, these beautiful posters. This is Sophia Ling Hong Shi. Nice to meet you. And you've already listened to the speech and from the director of the Mexican Trade and Culture Office. And we're just so excited to have an event here because last year we had our second home 
Mexico and I was included in that show. This was my space here. And then uh, the director's wife, Selena, is also an artist and she had a show. So he has been telling me about this coming up and we're excited. So your title is? Your professor. professor. Okay, and it's graphic design? Yes. Graphic design. Yeah. So these are graphic design posters. Okay. Now the representative was talking about this one. Yes. So this is Mexico. Yeah, I'll figure something uh, travel Mexico many times. Right. So I also have an exhibition there right. many times. Right. So when I go there, I see a lot of paper cutting there. Yeah. And it's similar like a Taiwan, yeah. a Chinese paper cutting. So for this one, I put the palm and the island of the shape of right. Taiwan here. Wonderful. To say, you know, we are actually amigo, a good yes. friend, and so I using the thread to make it like hanging feeling, right. like you see in Mexico too. everywhere at all the yes. restaurants. Yes. Now this was mentioned, and then also this piece here, and from afar it looks like a cactus, yes. but when you get up close, it's all the animals. Yes. So you're saying the harmonies human nature relationship. So yeah, it, because cactus is very special point. Right. You know, you fight with a lot of things. Like, you know, people with nature, nature with the animal, right. you know, all have that special relationship. Right. So from the outside, uh, from the distance, you won't see the detail. Right. Which is also poster that power. In the distance, you will see the power of the meaning. Yes. But if you get closer, you can get more deep. Yes, the yes. And that's, we were seeing your speech from that side of the room. Yeah. So we weren't able to see the detail, but when you come up close. And it's quite interesting because when you think a poster, you think something just simple information. But as the uh, director was saying, you like to do a lot of detail in your work. And then we have these ones here. And this is also for the environment. So you have... I have a heavy action, you know, human did step or things you did or inference okay. the natural. Okay, and yeah. this is the foot with the roots? Yes. And then this one is quite beautiful here. This one is very special for me too because the title called Plum Plum I Love You. Oh, okay. Plum is the national flower of Taiwan. Right. And then Plum Plum I Love You means Taiwan, Taiwan, I love you. Right. And then for the two color, the green and the blue color means two party major party in Taiwan. Yes. And I think they should get united together as a base, walk together, and then we will have uh, lots of flower. Oh. And I'm using uh, the, the shape of Taiwan into oh, the butterfly. Wow. And because Taiwan was uh, the flower, uh, butterfly was islands too. Oh. So that's a small detail. So you have to go closer and you will be able to see. To understand it. Yeah. And yeah. it's quite interesting that whole idea of two parties going together. Yeah. Because a lot of times in government, uh, we don't look what's, what's best for the country. We look what's best for our party or for our own career. Now, the whole trade office is filled with Sophia's prints, posters, and you were talking about you're bringing a group of nine students, Taiwanese. Taiwanese students are going to participate in the Mexico Banali poster banale yes. in October. in October and it's in Querétaro Colecto in Mexico City which is near where I used to live in Mexico oh. so yeah Querétaro is beautiful I've never been there I'm excited it's a very beautiful so city so you have a program where you can buy a poster yeah. and then that Sponsors. that money is going to be sponsoring the students so it's nine students the airfare the hotel the everything food accommodation yeah. Yeah. For how long are they there? Uh, nine, nine days. Nine think. days, yes. so over a week. Yeah. So you buy a print. Yeah, we will reprint it and frame it. And if you can support us, we will also have exhibition there. Okay. So all the cost we do are used. Okay, so, so we will look at that and we're going to look at more of her prints. Okay.
So we're here in the trade office, Mexico Trade and Culture Office, and you can see it's a quite a big space. So we looked at the cactus, we looked at the environmental posters, and then your other theme is Taiwanese, Aboriginal, Indigenous people, um, and there are several groups. 16 tribes. Yes, so like Lanyu Island, the Green Islands, and so this is one of those. The original one is without the city. Okay. But this is our main, our main tribe. Okay. The, the first time I did is uh, I just came back from the United States for my education. Right. And uh, Sun Yi Aborigines Museum, we have an exhibition talk about Taiwan image. So when I was uh, in, in the States for a long time, I was thinking what can, what can I use to represent the Taiwan. Right. So I'm using Aborigines. And our main tribe is most obvious for foreigners to understand Aborigines tribe. So I kind of uh, so simplify like, like a their, silhouette? Yeah, silhouette. Yes. And then also simplify their costume. And then, you know, I also make it like uh, a little bit moving moving feel to do the three-dimensional tinted. Right. You know, then you feel they are still moving. And so I think we need to set it up with, if you're not aware of Taiwanese uh, Aboriginal, this group, it's like a headdress. So this is a headdress you might recognize. And then this is the outline. So this is the face here. This yeah. is the necklace. <laughs> but I I know it because I know these people. But I'm just looking at all the details. So you have Chunky Shack Memorial up here, and then there's some um, the type of you know, Taiwan image, the beautiful Taiwan. So you've got the Chinese script, and then you've got the Catholic. Yeah, the this is a church or so Ian Bay. Yes. Did it in uh, Donghai University. Yes. Yeah. So after I do the research about uh, culture aspect of design, so I added the city landscape put together to talk about the beauty of Taiwan. So if you looked at this from the distance. You would just see maybe Chang Shek. If you're here in Taiwan, you know that it's a minority people. And then if you really get up close, you can see all this detail. I've been to this church, I've been to Mass here on a Sunday, because it's in Taichung. Yes, yes. And so she's added the famous buildings from... 101, Zhang Kai-sen, and the building in Kaohsiung. 101, and then the M building in Kaohsiung and Chiang Kai-shek, and then the church in Taichung. Now, is this one here included with the other? It's a series of four, but I'm only showing one because the whole expression based on three colors. Okay. Uh, four colors, like uh, green, yellow, red, and white. Okay. Yeah, so this is, I uh, have a red, red color on this side. So these are the red ones yeah, here. And yellow and green. Okay. In between it. Now the one I want to talk to is over here. Let's go have a look. This, this one. Now this poster here I saw during when you were giving your speech because we were standing right over there. So it says no more child labor. You've got a hammer. And this is dolls the or paper doll. Paper doll. You know, when we are yes. kids, we you will always cut them uh, out. them out and then play with them. Right. Yeah. Now, I wanted to ask, because this is black and red, so it's very powerful. You're doing this on the computer. Yes. So are you trying different colors? Did you try yellow and yes. blue? And yes, but I'm also uh, doing a lot of uh, research about colors. Okay. So the red color have their special meaning about power, energy, and violence also. Right. So after I try the color, I will decide it what the content will go with the color. Okay. Yeah, so that's why I'm using the red. Okay, uh, this but you did try different combinations. Sure, sure. yeah. It's yeah. always interesting for me because I, I'm a printmaker, so I carve right yeah. in the wood or the linoleum. But when I'm meeting so many artists that are working on the computer, yeah. so yeah. it's quite interesting. Well, congratulations. It's Thank a wonderful you. show. Thank you. And it's so nice to learn about your relationship with the 
trade office and with director Torres. Yeah. You know, he's a big supporter of the yes, arts. Yes, he is. He's, he's like my brother. Yes. Here. Yeah. And, and his wife is a wonderful painter. Yes. She just had, uh, was part of a group show in Taoyuan. Yes. So I went there to cover that. Yeah. We are hopefully going to have a quick chat with the director of the trade yes. office. But I want to say congratulations. It's thank wonderful. You so much and we're going to have. Coming here. Thank you. Thank it was you. wonderful. Hope they enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to take a look at more of the work. Thank you. Martin Torres, the director of the Mexican Trade and Culture Office in the Mexico Trade and Culture Office. We've interviewed Sofia, the artist, and we've looked at some of her posters. And you and I were talking about this show coming up, and then it got canceled because or postponed because of the typhoon. And we here we are. And when I think poster, I think just something you're looking at, but we've been going through all of them and all the details is just incredible. I think she's a very, very talented artist. She's very, very creative. Um, I think the uh, posters that are exhibited here are, are just to that. Um, you know, dep depending on the topic, she, she touches upon different topics in this, in this exhibition. Uh, you can see very, very specific details that are very creative. Yes. And of course, this, for example, yes. all of them are, are something, and they have something special. Even the city ones, you know, it's, of course, it's the Tower of London, but then, then you see the rest, and that's the L, the crazy uh, right. L of London. Or that cactus, and you get closer, and you see all the little animals. And she's sneaking in the shape of the Taiwan Island into all of these posters as well. The so. colors, everything. I just thought it was so interesting. And she picked, she mentioned it, she also picked uh, also some colors that are, you know, relative to Mexico. The green, the yes. white, and, and the red. Yes. Uh, also using the yellow. But, uh, and so she's testing it out to see if it's as impactful with a different color. Because I really like this one, the hammer with the paper dolls. Mm -hmm. So it's something so strong as a hammer and then a, a cut out paper doll and she tried in different colors to see if it would work and it was just really really interesting so thank you again we're seeing you twice in one week it's yeah no one in the country thank you I mean I really appreciate you well you support the arts and I support the arts so we just saw Senor Torres at the Chunky Shack Memorial our second home show which I'm showing my work as as a Mexican and now we're here in your office your Mexico away from Mexico so any other of Events coming up. Estamos en contacto. Well, uh, as you know, September is Mexico month. Yes. It's our national day, so we're working on our national day celebration. I'm planning something uh, for that. Hoping to do that on the actual day. This okay. time we're going to do it on the actual day, which is September 16th. Yes. So looking forward to that. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you posted. And we just saw your wife, Selena, at the show in Taiwan. So it's all about art, it's all about Mexico. Wonderful to see you again. On the hurry. And we Thank will you, see you on the next episode.